Today's Amanita series, we're going to be discussing a member of Section Amanita known as Amanita multisquamosa. Amanita multisquamosa is in subsection Pantherina, one of our panther caps that we have here in Rhode Island, in New England. Um, characterized by its multisquamulous cap in most conditions, uh, rain exuding. Uh, so we'll get into it. We have our Panther Amanita here. So just a memo here on the uh, cap is section Amanita. We notice that we have these striate margin, which is characteristic, and we notice this vellum distribution all over the cap. I try to mention multi-squamule as, uh, from multi-squamosa, um, how the vellum really spreads out into multiple, multiple areas, uh, which is characteristic to this particular panther. And um, we can see that this one's white. I collected a few others to show characteristics, so uh, we'll try to get this contrast of the white mushroom the best we can in the photo. So looking down, we see how it has a skirt. But notice the shape of the skirt. It's not flowing down the stem. It's actually getting pulled up. So this happens with when the skirt or the annulus is connected to the side of the cap up here. Um, when it grows old, the veil, the skirt, covers the gills and protects them. And as it grows old enough and big enough, it releases. And how the skirt falls is very unique depending on what Amanita that you're looking at. So we have this uplifted skirt. And I'll grab this small one over here. Where we can really see its upliftedness. Let's see if I can... There we go. More of a cup facing up then flowing down and we can see the multi squamules dispersed on the cap here uh, we'll go back to this big one because I do want to show you what the base looks like being in subsection pantherina we have what's called a booted base so we can see on a few members here it has this collared look. This one in the center, a little more bulbous. Bulbous here, but it has this collar on the top. And then on this one as well, we can see this collared look to the top of the vulva. Uh, we call this a booted base, which is subsection pantherina. And on this really old one, we can see it's dried out a little bit. We can see that really big boot that was on this. So, let's focus on these ones here. Something I do always want to mention with Amanita is always look at the short gills. If we can see the short gills here, I can't see them. Maybe you can. We have what's called truncate short gills. If you look here, you see these kind of triangles, the shadow of where the short gill stops and the long gills go past it. Very characteristic to uh, Section Amanita and a lot of the muscamol containing members where it has this truncate shaped short gill, maybe mildly toothed. There we go. Where it's not rounded, it's not adnate and comes to a point. This one is between uh, truncate and tooth, I would say, but very characteristic to Section Amanita. You see these short gills, um, they come to an abrupt halt. Multi squamules on the cap. The lined margin. The uplifted skirt. We can see the gills are free here as well. Ah, worth a mention. It's on most Amanita. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got. Multi squamosa. Let's see if we can get a little, a little better view of this booted base that it has. And that's it. One of our panthers that we have here in New England and Rhode Island. Amanita multi squamosa. I hope you enjoyed.